welcome back everyone farm sim snowy here so in this video we're going to look at the chickens what we need to do how they produce eggs feeding them etc like that so first of all what we need to do is get ourselves some chicken coops so if we go into this menu and scroll to the bottom with the menu with the three lines if we go across to construction that brings up our build mode as you can see so the top menus there we've got all the buildings productions we want to scroll across to animals it brings up some more menus with all the different types of animals again scroll across till we get to chickens click on that now we've got two types there's no mods out at the minute so we're just using all base game equipment pens etc so we've got two types there we've got a chicken pasture and if you look on the right hand side it's two slots for console holds 30 chickens and it shows you what they will take for feed so it's wheat barley or sorghum now you can give them a mixture of all three of those if you want it doesn't have to be one or the other so if you've got a little bit of wheat in there and you've just harvested some sorghum you can tip that in there to fill their feed up it doesn't matter so next to that We've got a chicken coop, which is more expensive. That's nine slots, but that will hold 360 chickens. So first of all, we're gonna grab ourselves three of these. We'll just place them down. So you can spin these around. For me, it's L1 and R1 on the joypad. Slightly making the price a little bit more expensive because terrain the ground isn't obviously quite dead flat but we're going to place three of those down do a bit of testing in those and if we quit out of there and go across to the chicken coop we're going to put one of those down what i do like as well is you actually can see the buildings now instead of just like a green like fs19 was anyway let's place this down so again it's slightly dearer because of the terrain plonk that down there we go we've got three of those and one of those and what i do like as well is the fence line follows this slope on this field so as on on fs19 it would have just carried that on flat all the way across and you would have ended up with a little sort of bump there mound that's quite cool I like that all right let's go up to our pastures so first of all we need some chickens now unfortunately there's still no way of transporting chickens with animal transport trailers so you have to do it and get a charge to fee but there's two ways you can do it you can either come up to this marker I've got the help menu on top left it says open animal dialogue so we click on that brings us to this menu you can select your chickens from there there's only three to choose from but we'll go through those in a second or if we open up this menu again the one with the three lines scroll across to animal dealer on the left there click on that because we've got four coops and pastures down we can select which one we want and it just brings us back to that same menu like so these markers you can i'm pretty sure most of you will know anyway you can turn those off if you want i've left them on for the purpose of this tutorial so we can see things and obviously because i'm still learning the game it's a new game but if you did want to turn those off come down to settings here scroll down to interactive zone markers and you can just see them disappear in the background like so that's how you turn those off so let's have a look at the chickens so the first chickens we have we've got the info there in the middle of the screen these are only five pounds euros or dollars to buy but they are technically newborns it says at zero month there reproduction two months we'll go into a bit more detail on that in a minute and then we've got these chickens which are more expensive to buy they're 50 to buy but they are already at six months again reproduction two months 
and it says there at the bottom chickens provide you with eggs which can be sold at selling point or processed in your factories and then we've got the rooster these are showing zero month again so they're technically newborns interestingly enough it says reproduction there 10 months which is why i want to do some testing there I'm pretty sure we all know what's going to happen though <laughs> but we will test so first pen or pasture we're going to put in some newborns in here so if we click on them so for me it's x it then brings us down to the figure in the middle of the screen there so what i like is you can actually select what number you want instead of having to tap 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 away on the joypad which was quite annoying for us console players trying to remember how many times you've tapped it but we can select from one right up on here to a maximum of 30. now it is obviously showing because we can't transport them ourselves they have to be delivered we get charged one euro dollar whatever you're playing with fee so that takes up to six dollars for every chicken so i want to put in 10 to this pasture so we click on buy like that do you want to purchase 10 animals yes we do they have been purchased they appear on the right hand side at the top and what else is good we now have some figures at the top so it's showing us that we have 10 in there out of a maximum of 30 for the actual pasture itself so that is all well and good and there they are i love it when they run around like that it's just crazy they're so much better in this game than fs19 the animations of the animals and it's just brilliant right next pasture we're going to go for the six month old chickens so again we click on them we'll go for 10 again still the same um getting charged a fee but because these are more expensive it's five dollars to um get them delivered per chicken so we'll go with 10 like so i mean 50 dollars isn't too bad to have them delivered anyway when you sort of work out how much it is to lease a transport trailer if you're obviously doing any of the other man animals you've got to then start weighing up the pros and cons is it worth leasing them or just buying them straight in so anyway they're done again top right we've got 10 out of a possible 30 for the pasture and this end one we are going to put 10 roosters in there like so again get charged a fee it's 10 roosters 10 six month olds and 10 newborns down there now we'll move on to this pasture or chicken coop this is going to be your tip in for your feed and then this is your dialogue box here but what is quite cool is you can actually go inside this chicken coop so obviously they would come all through in here and feed out of these you can go in this back room and then roughly around here i think it is it says open door if we click on that it brings the shutters down so you can raise and lower the shutters just to give them a little bit of extra air i thought that was quite cool anyway let's shut all that up we are going to get let's get the dialog box up we'll go for six months old because i want them to produce a bit quicker select that because this is a bigger capacity um, coop we can now go up to a maximum of 60 to buy in obviously you can see it's going to cost us 300 dollars to get 60 in but we will do that now i want to buy 60 more of exactly the same like so so we now have 120 six month old chickens in here out of a possible 360 so there we go now we need some wheat now i haven't got a huge amount of wheat so i'm hoping 
it's going to be okay but it will come in handy we'll fill up the pastures first because they shouldn't take a lot and then whatever's left we're going to tip into the chicken coop which wouldn't shouldn't be sorry a lot of wheat but that is going to come in handy for a little test a bit later on so we give the roosters there a mount and all three of these pastures should have exactly the same amount of feed as well so that shouldn't influence any of the outcomes of the testing I love the sound effects in this game it's just awesome right and then we'll do these fellas and then like I say we'll tip the rest into the coop over there and then we'll take a look at the menus so they're only going to have 1446 litres of wheat now I know I could get more but I just want to try something as part of the test and obviously the chickens I don't know, I can't remember if I've already said they don't require any water which is a little bit odd but it was the same in FS19 and it still applies now so they're all fed so far so if we go up to our animal menu in here as you can see we have got the newborns there these are our 120 in the chicken coop we've got our six month old chickens and we've got our roosters so these have all got exactly the same amount of feed these guys are in the red because we haven't got a lot for them so the menu there basically says age zero months health zero percent reproduction and in brackets age less than six months old what that means is these newborn chickens have to get to six months old before they will start to reproduce so if we go down to these fellas they are already at six months old so they will start reproducing a lot quicker than the newborns which is obviously what you would expect and then the rest of the menu up the top right pen information we've got our productivity which is obviously zero percent and eggs zero pieces food it gives us a total bar and then underneath it just says grain because that's what we feed them wheat barley or sorghum now if you were on um, some of the other man animals that would take um, several different types of feeds so say like pigs it will give you bars for all those separate things and then give you a total up the top so that's why the totals there right what I'm going to do now we're at 10 30 a.m. I'm going to turn on to times 120 because every hour the health and production uh, productivity sorry bars go up by 10% so every hour they go up to 10% so let's go back down to there and it's actually that menu isn't it let's go to 120 so as soon as we get near 11 a.m just coming up let's go back up to our animals they should go up by 10 percent those bars there we go and that applies to all of them so obviously you want them at 100 percent once they're at 100 percent then their productivity will be 100 percent as well and then that's when things should start happening so we'll just stay here till 12 midday again because that should go up to 20 percent health and productivity and there we go like so what i'm going to do is skip forward so i don't bore you with this because i want to test all these three here and see what happens so i'll skip forward to a point where 
I think when we're at 90% for all of them. So I'll see you in a little while, people. Right, so I've brought you in a little bit earlier than I was expecting. I've slowed time right back down again, because as you can see, we've got some eggs here. Now what's cool as well I like is having field info on. I never used to play FS19 with that on, but if you have it on, you can pretty much tell what everything is on the game. So if we come up to the eggs, will show us on that pallet, there's 60 kilograms the weight there and there's six pieces it also shows us the chicken pasture we've got 10 animals in there health 60 percent and how much food they have so that is the interesting thing that you've just seen there the 60 percent because if we go on this menu we haven't even reached a hundred percent yet on the health or productivity and we have actually got eggs if you look on here the chicken coop which has obviously got more chickens in it's showing 105 pieces so that is quite interesting none for the roosters which is probably pretty obvious none for these guys because again these are the newborns if we run down to the chicken coop we've got the pallet there with some eggs on again if we come up 105 pieces now as far as i can tell these eggs or these pallets don't go any higher than what that is there but at the minute we can pick these up so whether they get full and you can't pick them up that's another little experiment we're going to look at so i was expecting to have to wait till 100 percent, but we haven't so what i will do is probably forward through again and i'll see you if anything else happens that i need to bring you back in but if not, I'll see you around sort of the 90%, 100% mark. So, see you in a bit, guys. Right, we're back. Literally one minute to 8pm. If we go into this menu, we're at 90% on all of them. Although their productivity has gone down to 89, I'm not sure quite why. But as you can see, we've got 225 pieces now on the biggest chicken coop and on these guys we've got 18 pieces like so they've just popped over look at 8 p.m they're all now a hundred percent so we are at hundred percent we've got some eggs there nothing going on there as you'd expect and still nothing going on there so basically already that's telling us which is pretty obvious the older chickens are going to start producing eggs quicker than these young uns because they're still at such a young age they're not going to do that what are you doing how did you get out there never mind oh that's quite smart all lit up in there look red looks like they're having a bit of a party in there so now we've got some more eggs down there you can see there's two sort of crates or whatever you want to stacks of trays to call them that so what I'm going to do now, because I can't see much else happening now, I'm going to skip through till the next day. I have got seasons turned on and I am playing on one day seasons. So if we scroll down, you can see seasonal growth is on and I'm on one day. So depending on how many days you are playing on, when I come back tomorrow, it will be September, so we will technically be into a new month. So we're going to check to see what happens then. So I will see you in the morning in September. Good morning, everyone, and happy September. <laughs> so we have a lot more eggs there. 875 pieces, as you can see run up here we have now got some eggs on the youngest chickens which is pretty cool still got more there not a huge amount but they did start producing before obviously nothing for the roosters but that is part of the test that we're going to do so if we look into the menus now even though we have got some eggs it's not actually showing any pieces on the younger chickens but they are there we can see them 
Now the interesting thing is on the older chickens in these two coop and pasture the reproduction has gone up to 50% so in other words every month and I say month because again I'm only on one day season so every day is a new month for me doing it like that so I'm guessing every month that reproduction rate goes up by 50% so technically tomorrow which will be October that will hit 100% and then we should start reproducing so if you remember the menu at the very start it said reproduction two months because these chickens were six months old tomorrow in October they will be eight months old six plus the two is eight so they will start I know pretty good at maths I know <laughs> they will start producing so that is going to be very interesting the roosters remember they said 10 months so I will skip forward eventually to tackle the roosters and see what's going on there these guys their feed is obviously going down and that is going to be another test I know it's a bit brutal but we will be testing to see whether they actually die because in FS19 if you didn't look after your animals you did lose them through them dying so that is where we are at so what I'm going to do is carry on I will skip through now until October which obviously is technically only tomorrow and I will see you back up here and we'll have a look again to see what's happened so we are back in October it is raining I must admit it looks very very nice oh it's a deer look three deer get off the road very very cool with the seasonal changes must admit pretty impressive right testing it's a little bit dark hope you guys can see can we put our flashlight on we can so we've still got eggs there not a huge amount still no more sort of trays on this side and again the roosters nothing down there we'll go and check in a second as well but let's have a look at the menu because some interesting things have happened so the young uns they are now at two months old so still not at the age where they're going to start reproducing now obviously what will happen with them is when they get to the six month age they will then as you go into a new month they will then go through that same process as the six month olds ones as in the reproduction percentage will go up to 50 percent and then the next month after that will hit 100 and that is when you will get your fresh chickens your newborns so says 27 pieces there for the eggs but look at these in the chicken coop these chickens they're now at eight months they have reproduced but we have got 120 newborn chickens so unlike fs19 where we had a reproduction rate in terms of hours when you got to the end of those hours we got one extra animal this is pretty much like for like so every single chicken in that coop has had a baby a newborn a chick so we've got 120 newborn chickens so that is quite cool their health is obviously at 80% because that again needs to get up to 100% like the others. What is interesting as well, they've only got 95 litres of feed left. So we'll keep an eye on that as well. This chicken pasture, these ones are eight month old as well. And exactly the same, each chicken from there has had a chick we've got 10 new chickens to go in roosters now even though it said reproduction rate 10 months at the very start when we bought them there is no reproduction rate on there or percentage but it does interestingly say eggs up the top so again that will be another little sort of test we'll get to the 10 months and see what happens but i don't think anything's going to happen I know I probably could have tested, I could have put a rooster in with some of these just to see if they would reproduce, but I'm just going on the same 
sort of principles FS19 in the fact that the roosters in the game didn't actually do anything they're more for sort of decoration if you want one to look smart on your farm which they do don't get me wrong they do look cool but as far as we can tell and know from the previous game roosters do not do anything we will carry on testing there's another one outside look what are you doing but I'll carry on testing let's just go and check down here because I'm pretty sure we've got a full pallet of eggs see so they don't go any higher than that it started a fresh pallet can we still pick it up yes we can so that is very cool don't need pallet forks for that we could pick them up put them on a trailer or into your pickup even store them in there and build them up a little bit more if you wanted so that's pretty cool one thing else you might have noticed in our menus there is no cleanliness bar i haven't seen any feed on the floor nothing to clean up whether that's the same across all the animals i'm not sure because chickens is my first test but i will look into all those animals as well in future videos hopefully cracking on with them today but there we go that's where we're at so we're probably going to skip forward another day and we'll see what happens so i will see you again in november and see where we're at as well so see you very shortly right we're back again in november 8 a.m let's have a look see what has been happening so our original newborns they're at three months old nothing really happening there they're still producing eggs but not a lot at all really compared to these fellas down here I've got 273 pieces as you can see the reproduction rate on those eight uh, nine months old sorry has gone back up to 50 percent so again technically next month which again obviously is for me the next day because i'm playing one day seasons we should get another 10 chickens and that will max out that pen so that is quite interesting roosters nothing different there which we probably already knew these guys have run out of food so now look at the productivity look at their health reproduction health even on the older chickens nothing so they've run out of food i'm assuming they won't produce any more eggs so let's try and remember that figure there 2170 because the next test really i want to do because i think we've pretty much answered probably not all the questions but quite a few is skip forward until the roosters are at 10 months old and then see what happens but i don't think anything's going to happen but they're at three months so i need to go forward seven possibly eight months so i'll see you in a bit let's try and remember that figure down there 2170 let's just double check that yeah so yeah i'll see you next year <laughs> right so we're back we're now into july we've got eggs here we've got eggs here we've got no eggs at the roosters which we obviously knew wasn't gonna happen let's have a look at our stats so the original newborns in the first pasture i've obviously got to that age where they reproduced so they reproduced these guys another 10 and then they've reproduced some more so we've now got 30 in that pen everyone's run out of feed as you can see these ones in the big chicken coop the eggs have still stayed the same 2170 which we obviously probably knew was going to happen as well anyway these guys have run out of feed interestingly enough on our first original six month old chickens we've got a gray bar there on the reproduction health saying 50 percent so i'm not sure what that is about none of the others have got that oh these have hmm 
So that's, I'm not quite sure what that was about because before when we were building up to getting new chicks, it was an orange bar. The roosters, they're now at 11 months old. So technically they should be reproducing. There is nothing there. We still only have 10. We have no eggs. Obviously, they've still got some feed left because they haven't been reproducing. It's just always been 10 in there with them. These guys, the youngest ones, obviously, they did have more food than these ones because they obviously weren't re reproducing as quick or didn't start for quite a while. So there was less in the pen, so they weren't eating as much feed. But I think... That is probably pretty much it. That's all I wanted to double check. Like I say, the pallets down there, you can still pick them up by hand even when they're full. One thing I didn't mention is what to do with your eggs afterwards. So obviously you can sell them. If we go into this menu and scroll up to the sell prices menu, we scroll down to eggs wherever that is just there it then gives you a list of places you can take your eggs to sell so not a bad price there at the bakery or if you own the bakery as a production chain you can take your eggs along to the bakery and it goes towards making cakes which is pretty cool because then if you go down to cakes It is a lot worth a lot more money so bread is obviously made at the bakery we think it's just flour that's required for that but eggs you can use to produce cakes you've got to have other ingredients for that as well though but it's a lot better price if you did want to go down that route so there you go i think that is it a look at the chickens some bit of testing one's running around outside the chicken coop now brilliant so i hope you have all enjoyed it and you found it helpful and useful if you have please give us a like and if you haven't subscribed yet then please do and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine i've been farm sim snowy stay frosty